In Culture this week, we focus on issues of gender equality as part of an art and video competition organised by Westside School to mark International Women's Day, with the event this year extended to Bayside and the Gibraltar College. In the arts section, Year 10 Westside student Lily Fairbank took the first prize. She describes the painting as showing the stereotypes associated with women, whilst also highlighting what they are capable of. And it shows that our women are like they're not free to be who they want to be, and you know they don't have their own voice. And then on the other side, it shows how women are capable of achieving whatever they want and whatever job they would like. And there is so many countries that 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 is not allowed. Chloe Victor from the Gibraltar College was runner-up with a piece inspired by Michelangelo's creation of Adam. It was mainly inspired by Michelangelo and the uh, touching of the two hands was represented for the beginning of equality and for every issue in the world and how it needs to change. In the video category, Year 9 student Alicia Fernandez from Westside impressed the judges with her entry aimed at inspiring women in business. Um, I try to encourage the younger generation of females because most women think that they can't do very well because most fields are substantially male dominated. So by having someone else who they can look up to, they might feel a lot more encouraged to chase their dreams and work to their full potential. A group entry by Year 8 students, who also acted in their video piece, were runners-up. Natalia Reyes, Abigail Beligan, Morgan Jacobs and Natalia Budigi looked at sports stereotypes. We basically showed on how girls can't play rugby and boys can't play netball and different scenarios that um, girls and boys can't do the same thing. We should all be allowed to do the same thing because it's just like gender, it doesn't matter, we're like all the same people. I, I think that boys and girls have, should have equal rights because after all we're, we're all we're all part of a species, we're all like a big family, we shouldn't be neglecting each other. I hope they start teaching this in at a young age because kids they don't know they don't know about this as from a young age. They don't know what's going on and how normally in other countries girls can't get the same education and how we don't get we don't get the same pay as men in certain jobs. The event in its third year continues to inspire young people.